right, guys, Zero Eleven here. And today, we got a box. It's actually a tin of 1617 Upper Deck Premier. So, 1617 UD Premier. First off, it's 1617, one of the greatest crops in recent memory. Absolutely stacked. The depth is exceptional. By far the deepest rookie crop since 0506. And yeah, we're opening up one of the best products you can open from that year and current years for that matter. This is probably the second most premium product behind the cup. I would say, I don't think there's anything higher than this. I don't know why anybody would think Black Diamond's anywhere near Premier. Like, that's laughable. But for this year's Premier, because I've only opened 1819, you get seven cards and five hits, including one rookie patch auto. And with that being said, there must have been two different runs of this product. Because I've seen redemptions for a lot of the players, including these TBD redemptions, featuring players like Brayden Point and Jacob Vrana are TBD. Austin Matthews is also a redemption, but I have seen all of those players pulled live. So there must be two different runs of this stuff. Hopefully this is a second run. So guys like Matthews are live. But yeah, there's 34 RPAs and eight TBD RPAs. They're numbered to 299 and the short prints are numbered to 199. Basically, we have an extremely good chance of getting a solid player for the rookie patch auto. Hudson Fashing, Nikita Soshnikov are really the ones to avoid. There are some players that are in a contract situation, like Yessi Puyuyarvi and Julius Honka that are available in here. But yeah, pretty much everybody else is an active NHLer or has at least played a solid amount of games in the league. That being said, man, the names are just crazy. If you don't get one of the big three Leafs, are you a Jets fan? Because there's Patrick Line and Kyle Connor. You got Sebastian Ajo, who is fantastic. Matthew Kachuk, Thomas Shabbat, Dylan Strom, Zach Wierenski, Mikhail Sergachev, Travis Konechny, Anthony Mantha, Matt Barzell, Braden Point, Jacob Vrana, Kasperi Kapanen, just a lot of great players. A lot of solid players as well. A lot of good ones in there. Hopefully you don't get Mike Matheson. I don't want to pull a Mike Matheson RPA. Matheson was the only premier RPA from 1617 I ever had. I do have some premier stuff, but... Gotta put the Leafs in the background here. That's who we're looking for. But yeah, other than the rookies for 1617 Premier, I mean, it's Premier. We're looking for the Mega Patches primarily. Like the Mega Patches are the next biggest attraction for me for UD Premier, other than the RPAs, which are very nice. But yeah, there's also the 0203 Tribute RPAs. I should mention that before I continue, but just a lot of great stuff in here. There's signature booklets in here, as well as Premier Gear is another interesting thing to point out. But yeah, other than that, hopefully get a cool patch, there's tags in here. There's no shields. That's an ultimate in the cup. But there's blue one ones and gold spectrums to keep an eye out for. So yeah, without further ado, let's open up this 10 of 1617 UD Premier. And I want to give a huge shout out to James for providing this. Unbelievable. Still can't believe this. So let's open this up. Okay, seal is broken here. Take it out here. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Here is the tin with one big pack in it. Seven cards again. We should be getting two base cards, so. I will be saving the RPA for last. It is a third card, and you can also get more than one RPA, but let's do it that way. Okay, let's take it out here. Oh, jeez. All right, Premiere. Okay. All right, nice big thick pack there. Okay, let's open this up safely. These packs are not cheap. If you couldn't tell that. <laughs> okay. How the heck am I gonna do this? Okay, let's just set it down here. Okay, here is the first card. I am not looking. I can't even see it, but first card. Jonathan Drew in base 352 399. So there's the base there for Drew in. So there you go. Base. <sighs> okay, next card up. Should be another base here. And then we'll go from the bottom. At least take the bottom one after this because it's probably just like a jersey or something. But next up, we got a rookie. To 299, 29 of 299, Joel Erickson Eck. There we go, Erickson Eck, rookie, wild first round selection in 2015. Okay. 
Okay, let's take from the bottom. Take from the bottom. Take from the bottom. Yeah, it's just a jersey. Okay, all right, just a jersey. We got a premiere. Just a jersey. 100 of 199, why am I so nervous? Ajay Kopitar. Kopitar, there we go. There you go, that one's game used right there. That's not too bad there, Kopitar. Okay. Okay, what should I do next? Should I, I think I'm gonna do the card that's after the RPA. So I'm gonna lift up the RPA and put it over here. Again, not looking, this is highly risky. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got an auto. Signature award winners, Mark Giordano. That's 34 of 99. 2015-16 NHL Foundation Award. So that's a nice on-card auto there for Giordano. There we go. And it talks about the Foundation Award there for Giordano. Okay. Jeez, I'm nervous. So that's four cards in, right? Yeah, four cards in. Okay, so the RPA is here. What is this? Oh, that's another jersey. Not numbered. Kasperi Kapanen. Rookie jersey. Looks like that was like a picture from the 15-16 season. It's wearing 37 there. There you go. Kapanen. Not numbered or anything. There you go. Wouldn't mind a nice RPA of him. If it's not a TBD. There's Kapanen. Okay, let me just get my bearings here. Okay, what is this? Okay, so the RPA is here. What is this? Oh, we got a mega patch. Okay, cool. First mega patch poll. Derek Brassard, 14 of 18. Brassard. There you go. Looks like that's from the, uh, like their third, like that's a throwback perhaps. That's from, for Brassard there. There you go. Game use piece. Brassard there. Nice. Obviously, he was traded for Zibanejad, but he's played on a lot of teams. But there's Derek Broussard for the Sens there, Mega Patch. And now it's time to reveal the RPA. Okay, here we go. The RPA. Okay. Okay, it's... Ah, Nick Schmaltz. Please be a nice patch. Eh. Got a premier rookie auto patch. Nick Schmaltz. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, number 14 of 299. See, like, that's one of the not so great ones, and he's still pretty solid, but yeah, he was injured for a lot of 1819. He was healthy for 1920, though, and he had like 40 something points, I think, so. Actually, I'm checking it now. He was leading Arizona in points, which is not really saying much, but he had 45 points in 70 games. Keller had 44 and 70, so. It's not a bad one. It's a Chicago patch. You kind of hope it was better, but... Hmm. So yeah, guys, there's a tin of 1617 Upper Deck Premier. Not the best tin. I'm not going to lie. Definitely not the best. There's some alright stuff in here. Just, yeah. Like the Giordano's alright, but nothing spectacular. Hmm. Yeah. So there's the two hits, I would say. The Mega Patch, which are always nice, but... Could have been a lot better. That's probably the way of describing it. So yeah, guys. Should I get some more 1617 product? I am very tempted to hunt the guys in the background. If you want to see that, let me know. And yeah. So yeah, guys. Stay tuned for more breaks to come. Including another very nice break I have coming soon. I don't know when I'm opening it. Yeah, guys. Once again, thank you so much, James. That's unbelievable. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later.